So let's talk about Petland and how they are basically keeping the puppy mill business alive. Which is ironic because the puppies they sell, not so much. <sighs> how in the... Mm, just like how? How is this still a thing? <sighs> I always try to keep this channel family friendly, like no language. And other than the time I came across somebody abusing their dog in public, not really had to bleep anything. Certainly not a topic like this where I'm actually like sitting down to talk about it. It's premeditated. <sighs> oh, but I was so tempted when doing this one. I think what surprises me most about the world is that Nothing really surprises me anymore. It's kind of sad. I've never been in a pet land. Uh, you know, I mean, pet stores, there's, I mean, obviously you have like PetSmart and Petco. Um, PetSmart's just everywhere and Petco, I, I gotta hand it to them. Like their slogan is just like, nobody will ever beat Petco's slogan. Petco, it's where the pets go. Like you, you just, you're never gonna forget that. Um, but then there's some other ones that, you know, they have pet in the name or something and so I've probably seen Petland before. Maybe I've been in one. I don't know. Mm, I'm going to go with probably not, actually, because I saw one the other day, not too far from here. I was like, oh, there's a, you know, little pet store. I wonder what that's like. And I saw something through the window that I was like, wait, did I like, no, there's mm, no, I have to be mistaken. I didn't have time to go and investigate, so I so I looked it up. <clears throat> and yep, I I saw what I thought I saw. They have puppies for sale. I'm just gonna go out and say this right here, right now. If you take nothing else from this video, never, ever, 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 ever buy a puppy from a pet store. Now, if it's like SCPA doing adoptions, they do those around like PetSmart and stuff, that's totally different. Completely different scenario. Um, Cause you know, they'll have, technically there'll be like an adoption fee. It's usually not too much, but it just covers their vaccines and all that stuff. If you don't know what a puppy mill is, it's one of those things that just is so, ooh, it's like only, hu only humans could come up with this, could come up with something so awful in the world. I, gosh, like I want to start with the things that annoy me the most, but I can't decide which things annoy me the most. Is it the fact that if I sign up for your text alerts and email alerts where you send me coupons and basically marketing crap, you'll give me $100 off a puppy? Seriously? Seriously. If you as a company can't understand how trading money off a puppy to get somebody on your marketing list is just the grossest thing ever, I can't help you. Or it could be the fact that when the Humane Society did an undercover investigation, one of the stores they did was in the greater Cincinnati area, Florence, Kentucky, which is, you know, 20 minutes south of downtown Cincinnati. Ah, uh, hometown pride. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, when I was doing this video, I thought, okay, maybe I'll like go there, do some research, like see it for myself vlog it or something. But after reading the Humane Society's post on this, which I'll link it below if you want to see it, I don't want to go in there. Aside from the fact that I think it would just break my heart to see these puppies like this, they are so ill that it is very common for them to pass on things to humans. Uh, it is common for employees to get sick and it is common for new owners to get sick. Like it is just awful. $100 off a new puppy. Hundred dollars. Wow. <sighs> Painfully obvious that they have one goal in mind and one goal only, and that's profits. Now, you might be thinking, well, yeah, businesses are in business to make a profit. True. But a good business isn't in business to make a profit. So it's actually not really true. A good business is in business because they provide a product or service that is beneficial to your life so much so that you're willing to pay for it. And hence, they make a profit. 
If your only purpose in business is to make a profit, that is actually not a good reason to be in business. Countless reasons why you should never buy a puppy from Petland. The odds of you getting one that is sick or possibly dying, high. The odds that it came from a puppy mill, basically guaranteed. The odds that you might get sick from said puppy, not low. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe you don't care. That's fine. You're like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care that puppy mills exist. I don't care that this puppy's treated like crap. I'm not really sure why you're getting a puppy at this point, but maybe you, that, you don't care. But maybe, just maybe, you'll care by the fact that $4,200? Seriously? $4,200? Let me just tell you, Enzo and Lotus both combined, not even half that. Not kidding. Less than half that for both of them. $4,200? Are you freaking kidding me? $4,200. So if you care about nothing else, you should care about the fact that you're paying over four times what I paid for one of mine. All right, we're gonna get into some really bad things. If you don't know how puppy mills and pet land function, how they make their money, we're gonna kind of talk about it a little bit. I will say I'm pulling this data from the Humane Society report and the fact that they had an undercover person working in the store. It would seem that Petco pays on average maybe anywhere from like two, three, maybe $400 for each puppy that they get from these puppy mills, which we'll talk more about puppy mills in a second. They're, sell they're buying these pups for a few hundred dollars or selling them for 4,200. Obviously there's some room in there. They should be good, healthy puppies. Mm, no, because that would eat into their profits. When you have a company like this, that's pure goal is profit, which is very evident by everything I've seen on their website, everything they can cut is pure profit then. So if they don't give them proper vet care, pure profit. If they cram them into multiple, into the same little tiny crate versus having multiple crates, more profit. Literally everything they can do to cut corners, they do it. My biggest question is like, what about at night? Like what is, where, what's going on at night? I still haven't quite figured that out. And then you gotta love this. When the guy shows up with all in the van with all these puppies in crates stacked on one top of one another, no windows in the van, no nothing. I've seen this van before. I'm pretty sure it's the same one they use in movies when they abduct people. Like that's the vibes I get, but he's got like a, a cute little shirt on it that says, what's it say? <laughs> Puppy travelers, every dog has its way. Well, isn't that just, fuck. <sighs> they have freezers in the back of their stores. I hope you can realize what those freezers are meant for. Next time you go into like PetSmart, I want you to walk around the store and see if there's any pet products that require freezing, not refrigeration, freezing. Like I said, I, I was originally thinking I might go to the, into the store and kind of check it out, see it for myself. I am more than just slightly afraid. I would be very compelled to commit a crime if I was to see this in person. I don't know what I would do with them all. Oh, here's a good part. Apparently they love to brag about how breeders are USDA certified. Now, if you're not from the US, you may not know this. And frankly, even if you are from the US, you probably still don't know this. The USDA does not certify breeders. You know what the USDA certifies? Livestock, agriculture. These breeders and just like, seriously? I've had batteries overheat and die when I'm filming videos like this because I get off topic and I ramble. I think this is the first time I've had one die because I was just like at a loss for words. I'm just, you know, reading this report, which I'd already read it prior. Um, there's also a video, actually I'll link the video because obviously it's YouTube, you'll prefer that, but I'll link, I'll link them both. Um, also, it's been a while, but 
I've mentioned AKC registration before and how I think it's a waste of money. Saying that your pup is AKC registered basically means nothing because all you have to do is write them a check and they will literally certify you. Anybody can do it for any pup. So it doesn't mean anything. So imagine my surprise to know that Petland is joined by the effort of the American Kennel Club, AKC. Offers registrations, even for mixed breed dogs, Petland sells. The Humane Society, as of this article in 2019, had received 1,400 total complaints about Petland puppies. The stores were randomly selected. They did this undercover test in Texas, uh, Florida, Georgia, Nevada, Virginia, and hometown pride. Each one had the following. Very sick puppies, including seizures, respiratory infections, diarrhea, vomiting, and dogs just simply too sick to eat. <sighs> this next one's hard. Freezers were... They were getting used. Staff admitting that sick puppies were common and rarely taken to veterinarians, including one distressed staff, staff member who said most of our dogs that go to the vet end up dying because we take them so last minute. Well, isn't that just comforting? As a result of this investigation, the Virginia store in Fairfax was actually shut down. And the former manager of the store was convicted of animal cruelty. So there's something too, if you happen to be a Petland employee or know somebody who works there, you think, oh, just because I work here and I'm doing what I'm told, you're immune to the law. No, if your employer has you doing stuff that's illegal, guess what, it's still illegal. Just because your employer tells you to break the law doesn't make it okay. Just, oh my gosh. I didn't realize they had pictures of ones that... I mean, the good thing is there's actually some local communities and cities who have passed laws and some of those were even because of this investigation. But apparently here in Cincinnati, Nah, that's not important, even though we are one of the featured stores. If I schedule online, $100 off. I just love how our mission is to match the right pet with the right customer and meet the needs of both, which is why we have this little form you can fill out. All it asks for is your name and required phone number and email. Required, because that's all this is for. They just want it for marketing. That's it, all they care about. Our values, oh, this is good. It's estimated that Americans own around 70 million dogs. How is that a value? Okay. We are proud of our commitment to animal welfare and the quality of our pets. Seriously? And the third value, there are many options for adding a puppy to your family. And these are not values. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, this is, this is good. Some of our five-star reviews, all of them just happen to be posted on April 30th. Like, you can't make this up. Okay, first of all, somebody who has a website, let me just tell you, you can change the date of that stuff. They just, they don't even care. After reading reviews, walked inside the Mason location with mixed feelings, but walked out happy and per three years old, excited about her new puppy, Pete, that I, I don't know what that word is, was very reasonable for our new Lucky, period. And Lucky is not capitalized. I don't, so I don't know what that is. Kim was awesome and quacked us through everything we needed to know. Thank you, Petland, for putting a smile on our family's face and adding a new addition to our family. Wow. <sighs> to recap, Petland, the devil. Puppy Mills, worst thing ever. Never buy a puppy from a pet store. Never buy a puppy for $4,200. Never buy a puppy from a pet store. Petland is the devil. Have we covered all the bases? <sighs> Hometown pride. I want to thank you all especially the Patreons who support us, the pups, myself, Rally, each and every month of their donations. You can see some pet, pet land, gosh, I've said, some. you can see some Patreon only vlogs if you want to join the Patreon, but you don't have to. I still appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see you on the next one. Later.